Well, things are getting from bad to worse for Rishi Sunak as Prime Minister following this year's Tory party conference. Usually when you're Prime Minister and Tory leader, you have a couple of the previous former leaders supporting you and you have a couple of the recent ones not supporting you well Rishi Sunak has managed to do the impossible he's now getting attacked by all sorts of former leaders uh, from Liz Truss and Boris Johnson to even David Cameron who's from the left of the party and liberal side of the party and the likes of George Osborne fascinating now all this is because of uh, his uh, HS2 U-turn or HS2 policy change let's just say now, I personally have been against HS2 because it, it's just a nonsensical policy uh, as, an, as an infrastructure because we could have actually done much more to help uh, uh, rebuild uh, and improve the rail networks in the, between North East and North West, between West Midlands and East Midlands instead of getting everyone to come to London for some reason. But David Cameron loves HS2. So he's attacking Rishi Sunak. All right, this is what David said. Today's decision on HS2 is the wrong one. Oh, yeah. It will help to feel the views of those who argue that we can no longer think or act for the long term as a country, that we are heading in the wrong direction. HS2 was about investing for the long term, bringing the country together, ensuring a more balanced economy. What? And delivering the northern powerhouse. We achieved historic cross-party support. Mm. With ex extensive buy-in from uh, city and local authority leaders across the Midlands and north of England. Today's announcement throws away 15 years of cross-party consensus. Thank God for that. Sustained over six administrations and will make it much harder to build consensus for any future long-term projects. Not really sure about that, Dave. All across the world, we see transformative long-term infrastructure projects completed or underway <laughs> they show countries on the rise building for future generations thinking big and getting things done i regret this decision in, and in the years to come i suspect many will look back at today's announcement and wonder how this once in a generation opportunity was lost <laughs> david cameron is not happy fascinating stuff all right so first things first just because it was a cross-party consensus doesn't mean it's the right thing. Secondly, he was ranting about something about how this was to help the economy everywhere, right? Yes, to re kind of tra transform um, the whole economy and infrastructure. Um, not really, because everything was becoming more London-centric. The whole point of it was to, uh, to attract the economy towards London instead of actually decentralizing powers. As I said, if you focus on uh, building an infrastructure and improving it, in the north, in the Midlands, in Wales and everywhere else. I mean, Wales is a whole different beast, which has been completely neglected by the administrations there. But that's for a different day. <laughs> but this whole concept, this whole argument doesn't really work. Also, as I said, just because it was a cross-party consensus doesn't necessarily mean it's a good thing. In fact, when David Cameron says at the end that I'm afraid that this could actually jeopardize the concept of long-term decisions, it's, this one has nothing to do with anything else. If there's going to be any other long-term infrastructure project or long-term plan for the NHS or whatever, no one's going to say, actually, you know what, let's not do it because we didn't do the HS2. That makes absolutely no sense. We have a fundamental problem with British politics and Western politics where all of you guys as political leaders, politicians, have been short-termists. Nothing to do with any of this. Everything is about short-termism. Everything is about, well, the, the upcoming general election or the upcoming local elections. You don't think long-term. You are pretending that you care about long-term plans, but you don't. None of you do. And the one time you do, like HS2, is a wrong decision. The gay David Cameron is talking about other countries improving already. Yes, because they, the, the other countries moved away from this version of HS2. This version of HS2 is already outdated. California moved away from it, France moved away from it, Japan moved away from it, and Germany. This is an outdated technology. It makes no sense. It's too centralized and it's too big. You could have better tra railways, better trains, faster to help with capacity and speed without destroying the countryside and without destroying small businesses and without uh, destroying uh, the taxpayers' budget. Uh, but of course, surprise, surprise, George Osborne uh, agrees with uh, his bestie, David Cameron in this whole thing. So Rishi Sunak is not having a good conference. Well, he didn't have a good conference, but uh, um, we'll uh, wait and see how the Tory grassroots will react uh, 
within the next few months as we get closer to the general election and how the other parties react. So we've got the Reform UK annual conference coming up within the next few days, which I'm going to be attending to report live from there. So the best thing you can do is subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I'm Maya Tusi, and we are the media.